All right, uh, time for some Sunday night uh, DX and radio fun. Uh, I'm going to do a comparison here of uh, two receivers. Uh, one is the Drake R7A, which uh, many of you know I have two of here in the Radio Shack here in Potomac, Maryland. And the other receiver is the rarely seen uh, Eddie Stone 6200 um, shortwave receiver. Um, what usually is seen from Eddie Stone on the eBay and used market uh, are the uh, Eddie Stone 1650 slash series of receivers, uh, one of which I also have here in the shack. But I've now uh, reinstalled the Eddie Stone 6200. Uh, it's a uh, it's a very uh, quite amazing receiver. Uh, as you can see, it's very uh, low profile and has a very uh, slim, uh, heavy metal cabinet. And it has uh, an LCD uh, kind of dot matrix readout. You can see it right there. Um, and uh, both of these receivers are now tuned to India. Uh, have some beautiful early evening reception, mid-evening reception here of 11620 uh, All India Radio. Now I'm running the Eddie Stone uh, receiver off of a, if you can see it below, a Old Grove S200, uh, was it? Um, S, uh, what is that? Grove SP200. Uh, speaker setup, which provides for notch filtering, uh, peaking, um, frequency uh, bandwidth adjustment, all kinds of goodies that the uh, SP200, which is a classic piece of equipment, provided. And I'll give you a little uh, bit of sound uh, from both receivers from the R7A, which is running uh, through an RV75 um, VFO, external VFO, and from the Eddie Stone. First, the R7A. Uh, the R7A, by the way, is running through um, an ICOM uh, SP20 uh, speaker on the right of the receiver. Now, what you're seeing with the R7A is uh, some of its uh, typically masterful, uh, amazing reception um, receiving capabilities. Uh, right now, the receiver is an AM, but as you can see, switching AM to sideband, there's no variation whatsoever in uh, the signal. In the signal, I've uh, got the RB75 exactly at zero, and uh, the receiver is quite stable. You can see the passband tuning. Drake was famous for putting this tuning in this radio. Uh, selectivity positions are the uh, five positions down to very narrow and up. You have the notch filter uh, here. Uh, I'm running it through a main uh, receiver um, line outlook, out, output to a Wellbrook 1530, which is uh, situated uh, about 25 feet above the house. I've also installed the uh, in the AUX program, AUX 7 board. I've received uh, installed the major short wave bands, which are easily selectable right here. Uh, you just have to match what you're tuning in terms of the band to the band switch uh, running through the RB75 uh, for the receiver to function on uh, fixed mode right here. All right, now go down, turn that down, and uh, t tell you what the Eddie Stone uh, 6200 sounds like again through the uh, Grove uh, Grove speaker unit. So with the Eddie Stone I'm running on AM right now, I'm going to run you through, if you can take a look at the, um, the uh, readout, uh, this dot matrix LCD, which is very clear, very nice, with this beautiful orange background. Uh, I'm going to sh run you through the options of this receiver. Uh, first you have uh, bandwidth on this particular receiver. Unfortunately only two filters are installed, but they are 2.4 and 6 for the wide. Then you have AGC slow. AGC off, fast, and medium. So I'll leave it on medium. You also have a, a ability to adjust the RF sensitivity, medium, minimum, and max. Now here are your mode switches. I'll take you through CW, 
FSK, USB, lower sideband, and back to AM. There's also a, uh, a squelch control there, which is uh, interesting for this kind of receiver. Um, over here, you've got the ability to adjust up or down the IF gain or squelch level. Uh, all of these membrane uh, buttons are uh, fairly easy to use. Uh, I also forgot uh, the rate button here, which allows you to choose between 1 kilohertz, 5, 9, 10, 50, and on the low side you've got 0.1 and 0.01. Now the keypad on the uh, Eddy Stone uh, enables you to uh, go right to the frequency and conveniently all you have to do is punch in uh, the initial numbers and then you uh, take the knob to complete the rest of the uh, frequency selection. So in this case, I'm going to go to uh, Brazil uh, 11780, and I'll give you, I'll show you a little bit about that. And so we'll do 1178, uh, one, one, and then we're going to complete with a tuning knob right there. Now for the... Uh, Frequencies uh, 10 and below, uh, 0 to 9 rather, you have to have the 0, the leading 0 in the computation. So uh, let's go to uh, 6 megahertz, which, uh, let's go to 6. Here we go. 0, 6, hit the knob, and you're already there. So the receiver is actually quite fun to use uh, with this uh, dot matrix uh, LCD. Really, really makes you feel like you're using a piece of uh, test equipment test equipment in a laboratory rather than a radio shack, but let's do a little more tuning here. Uh, that's 6070. I'm going to uh, adjust the bandwidth down to 2.4. Now just to give you an example of uh, what the receiver is capable of, I'm going to go to uh, the Bolivian, uh, it's Radio Pio uh, Doce uh, 5952, and see how the receiver does on that. So there you have it, uh, very sensitive radio, 5952, um, I'm going to try to go sideband to uh, clarify this, stand by. I seem to have a frequency uh, 5952.460 that's using upper sideband. Uh, again, this receiver, because it's lacking that middle uh, selectivity position, and it doesn't have any uh, controls on it like notch filter or passband tuning, but as you can see, quite sensitive and able to, uh, able to bring out the, that Bolivian station. 
and of course I can use the uh, Grove tuner down here to clarify uh, clarify that signal quite a bit so let me try to do some of that All right, so you get the point here that two fine receivers, the R7A Drake R7A with RV75 combination, and this uh, actually quite rarely seen Eddystone uh, Eddystone 6200 um, was obviously made for uh, government military applications. Uh, I'll, let me turn the Drake back up, pal, back to India, and we'll end this video uh, with some uh, nice music from All India Radio 11620. Okay, that's it from the Radio Shack here in Potomac, Maryland. Uh, we'll be back with uh, some other radio comparisons in uh, coming days and weeks. Good night.